So you want to get the maximum performance of your Ryzen CPU Just like how you saw about the other videos I made about gaming You saw my CPU boost up to 4.85 GHz consistently I'm going to show you how to do it in your PC also But do note guys that every CPU is different And you might not be able to get those results And you might be able also to get better than the results that I got So I'm going to show you the best way and easiest way to do it Without getting into your BIOS and risking your CPU So, let's start So, first you want to download Ryzen Master You can find the link or in the AMD software You can see here, launch Ryzen Master If you don't have it installed, it will just uh, put you to the Google tab to download it so let's start so what you're going to do when you first install this you want to go to the curve optimizer when you go to the curve optimizer there is going to be an option to start optimizing and there is, it's going to ask you do you want per core or all core so i choose per core as you can see here and it it put minus 30 on all of my cores except the core 2 which goes minus 29. What that means is the core voltage offset. You want to use that because you can get more performance out of the same power usage that you can have right here, as you can see, which is limited up to 76 watts. So you can just uh, set your computer to draw less power for more performance. But what I did in my, in my, with my profile, I will show you in a few minutes. So after you do that, it's going to take some time and it will optimize itself. And then you're going to set the boost override CPU to 200, okay? So zero is the normal speed. Um, 50 is 4.7 gigahertz. Um, 100 is 4.73. And 200 is 4.85 gigahertz that, as you saw with my other videos. So these are the power usages. I will show you later uh, in a how to change those ones so after you hit apply it will tell you to restart but i have them all already applied so but be sure to save your profile which can help you a lot because you can lose it and it will take equal amount of time again so as you can see here we are ready i go to the home and as you can see 130 watts and 100 amps the tdc and the edc so PTT is basically the full power of your CPU uh, with everything included. This is the power usage that you can draw consistently and this is like the peak power usage. And I will show you how to tune them to your to the best, get the maximum performance and heat output of your computer. So let's go ahead right now and start. So you want to start a stress test. I use Cinebench in my case because it's it's the closest to a game that you can say and you see right here also be careful about your temperatures right now you see i'm using a hundred percent of my edc and you want to limit that you first put this will be at maximum as it can go but you want to lower it so your edc is every time as at a hundred percent okay so when you see the edc is at a hundred percent that's you limit that means you limited the cpu but also it can be at a hundred percent and if you lower it more it can get you more performance actually because it can draw less heat which can result to better performance so you have to check you have to uh, the power usage of watts just let it there be enough the TDC let it have some, but the EDC just lower lower it as much as possible, uh, so you get the highest and the most stable performance out of your CPU. So the higher this number is, the better. And remember, guys, this is all core full stress. That's why it doesn't boost. When you are into games, you don't utilize all of your cores, so the ones that you utilize boost as much as possible. That's why you, you don't see 4.85 gigahertz locked. But if it's locked to 4.85 gigahertz, you have to be very happy because that means your CPU is really, really good out of the factory. So I'm going to show you right now real world performance out of this thing. You can compare it to other times. Like I have now, right now 500 points. 
you can um, search how much the stock CPU will get or before you do it, do a stress test and check your performance in the games and stuff like that so you can compare it to the other results. As you can see here, it went up, which is amazing. That's what you want to see. So guys, as you can see, it boosts to 4.85 GHz consistently in Fortnite and we, you remember, we, we are limited at 76 watts and now we are drawing 80 plus. So that means that we did something overall and we only draw like what like 10 15 20 watts more uh, under gaming which is amazing because we get actually more stable and better performance as well which is really really nice and as you can see i don't have a really beefy cooler but my temperatures are really nice that shows how good it actually is this overclock okay guys so thank you for watching like subscribe if you have any questions about how to overclock your gpu cpu or any problems you have i can check in the comments and i'll tell you personally if you want to try and help you as much as possible bye bye